For years, everybody was afraid of fire. You have to respect fire, but you don't have to be afraid of it. That really kind of leads into the ecology of the, the prairie. You know, the, the prairie or the grasslands, why do we have the, the grasslands? It's a function of three things. It's climate and um, the grazing animal and it's fire. Well, since settlement, we still have grazing animals and uh, with the, the cow, climate yeah. has not changed significantly, yes. but the thing that's absent from that equation is fire. Fire can be beneficial if it's used correctly. And for the farmers and ranchers along the rivers here, they're going to have to use that because you can't go down there with a chainsaw or a weed eater and get rid of the trees. They're just too many. In Texas, Oklahoma, Kansas, Nebraska, they've been using prescribed fire to keep the eastern red cedar under control, um, which would help with healthy rangeland. Um, up here in South Dakota, you know, the element of fire has been taken out of rangeland management. Really, ever since this area was homesteaded, that has allowed these cedar trees to really start to take over this part of the part of the state up and down the Missouri River. It used to be when somebody hollered fire, you go put it out. Right. But now they've learned how to kind of control it and and do what what you want it to do. Mm -hmm. And and some people haven't grasped that yet. Right. Right. So I think fear is probably the biggest thing with a lot of it. Prescribed burning is definitely new in South Dakota and it's you know, it still can be a naughty word in a lot of parts of the state and even in certain areas around here yet. A big part of the fear is what if the fire gets away? If you write a prescribed burn plan and then follow that plan, you're going to reduce your risk a lot. And that's why I said before, I think it's time we take a calculated risk at it, do everything we can to mitigate the danger of it getting away, and then go ahead and do it.